Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review pens and fountain pens. And today I've got a uh, really cheap beginner pen that I want to share with you. But I don't want to just share with you a review of the pen. I also want to give you uh, some information on how you can make this pen last a whole lot longer than they intended. This is the Pilot Varsity and it's an inexpensive, sometimes it comes in a pack of four different colors. That's how I got this one. You will notice if you're familiar with them that this is an old design. I've had this for years. Uh, it was lost in a box for two years along with another one. And what impressed me was when I got out these two pens that had been boxed up for a couple of years, this one was already out of ink when it went in the box, but the other one, a blue one, started writing. Not even a skip, not a hard start after two years. That always impresses me. What also impresses me is that Pilot uses the same kind of quality they use on their much more expensive pens in these cheap, disposable, inexpensive, disposable pens. So you get a good nib, you get good ink, you get reliability, uh, two years in the box still writes, and that impresses me for how inexpensive they are. But if you've watched this channel before, you may have picked up one of the things I like about fountain pens is that they're not disposable. So disposable fountain pen for me, bit of an oxymoron. So I'm looking at this pen and thinking, how would I get some ink in there so that it becomes an eyedropper and not just a disposable pen in a landfill, which kind of defeats the purpose of a fountain pen for me. So you're not going to start at this end. Some pens you would start there. It's not going to be as simple as buying a, a, a piston filled pen or something like that or something that's made to be an eyedropper, but it's really not very difficult either. And so if you are somebody who wants to reduce, reuse and recycle or maybe like me, you have Scottish ancestors looking over your shoulder telling you you really shouldn't spend that much, uh, then maybe you want to put some ink back in this pen. All you have to do, really simple, is get a get like a washcloth or something, one you don't care about ink getting on. Do not get, you know, your mother-in-law's fancy cloths. Uh, but get a, uh, a uh, washcloth or a couple of paper towels and, and with a pair of pliers, just gently work that nib and feed out of the uh, pen. It is just in there by friction. It's, mine was in there pretty well. It's a tight fit, but you can pull that out and just eyedropper fill these pens. Clean it up. Be sure and clean the, while you've got it open, clean the nib, clean the feed, clean the inside of the, the pen so that there's not residual ink in case it doesn't mix well with what, you, was in, what you're going to put in it. But clean it all out. Let it dry off reassemble it very simple it's just press fit in there and you've got a large capacity eyedropper pen for not a lot of money and one with a very good quality pilot nib uh, these are our median nibs and i'm going to show you uh, how well it writes with um I don't remember what ink I put in this, but when I start writing, I'll remember what ink it has in it. But uh, let's just, since that's since I'm gonna have to write with it to know what's even going on, let's just go ahead and flip the camera and I'll show you how it writes. Okay, so let's see how this writes. Again, I don't remember what ink, what ink is in it, but this is a Pilot Varsity. And as you can see, it has a medium nib and writes really well. Um, when I cleaned this pen out, actually in the fins, there still was a little bit of that original purple in it. And I, I thought I got it all out, but when I started to write with the new ink, I realized that I hadn't. So there's a bit of a purple tinge you might pick, be able to pick up on the camera. But now I remember this is just a simple... Noodler's Black that I have in the pen now. Really good ink and uh, waterproof ink and writes really well. This, I'm telling you, this this nib is just really smooth. I, I can't believe sometimes how well it writes and I, I'm sure Pilot is very consistent. I'm sure that uh, if you go get one it's going to write just as smooth as the one uh, that I've got. It just is always impressive to me because you can spend a lot more money and not have anywhere near as good a pen. Now you can have a much better looking pen that's for sure. I don't think well I think it's a little ugly but that's okay it doesn't matter. This is a utilitarian pen and uh, doesn't 
doesn't really uh, get bought too often because of its looks. It's bought to be a, a pen you can throw in your backpack and you don't have to worry about a thing. And it's always going to write really, really well. And so there's really no good reason. This is why I did this video. There is no good reason to have a pen with a nib this good and throw it away. There's no point to that. You need to keep this pen. So if maybe you've got some lying around in a desk drawer and you've wondered about that, and you know, are they really refillable even though they say they're just disposable? Yes, they are. And it's gonna be an excellent pen and mine are always incredibly reliable as well. So go get one of these pens and uh, use all that good pilot ink up that's in it and then go pick you a color that you really like too and keep on writing. God bless you. And until next time, have a good week.